the first thing you want to learn in English is the same you want to learn in any language or any country you're going to that speaks a different language to you. The, the eight key words, eight key phrases. Where you want to start, make sure you've got these easy things you can use, you can enjoy, you have the very basics. Have success to start with. So what are the first eight words you want to know of any language you go to, any country? If you're going to um, Togo, if you're going to Mexico, if you're going to Azerbaijan, I'm going to give uh, a bit of thinking music, see if you can uh, think of what eight words or phrases you would want to learn in English first or any language first. Come on, first word, any language. Hello. Hello. Konnichiwa. Ni hao. Buongiorno. Hello is the uh, first word. You want to learn that if you can say hello in someone's language, it breaks down a lot of barriers. It just thinks, oh, hang on. Is that now if you can say how are you very useful and again it's very important to try and find out and this can be done through speaking to locals are they a language that says hello how are you are they a language that says how are you separately or do they ever even really say, how are you? Or is their how are you a totally different translation? A quite a famous one is in Beijing. Chulama, have you eaten yet? Is their way of uh, greeting and their, their equivalent of a how are you. So, of course, the, the, the textbook, the dictionary stand of how are you is great. But again, if you can learn a local one, and you go up to a local, you go into a shop, and you say, you know, hello, how are you? And they'll say, oh, good, thanks, you. Yeah, great. And then you switch to uh, English, as in that was done in their local language. If you switch to English, they've got a great rapport with you already. They like you. They're more likely... They are 10,000 times more likely to give you a better price than if you didn't use the local language. And again, you will butcher it. You will sound horrible, especially your first few times. Maybe you won't, but that doesn't matter. It's the effort. You know, this is the first time you're learning this language. And again, you know, you'll come to Australia and you don't have any English or you feel you don't have an English, hello, how are you, g'day, how's it going, is what we'd say in Australia. But again, it's very important to say it with feeling, so it's not good, good, good day, how's it going, it's g'day, and now I say it naturally, but again, I'm not saying you can say like me, it'll take you a while of practice, but what you can say is, as we'll go into later, smiling, that, yeah, you're not looking like you're having a test. G'day. No, it's g'day. G'day, saying hello. Hello. Oh, konnichiwa. Ah. Just feeling that you're trying to communicate, you're trying to share, you're trying to say hello. I want to communicate with you. So we've got hello, how are you? They might be together, maybe separately. Yes. Hi. We. Oui. Da. Yes. Always very useful to know. Again, no, yet, uh, uh, no. 
Hey, I'm butchering your language, so possibly. I mean, tell me your language and I'll butcher it as well. But again, it, it's, 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 that's the point. Don't think you've got to be perfect English before you start speaking English. Give it a go. Anyway, yes and no, very useful phrases. Uh, just to make clarity of meaning with certain circumstances. More importantly, again, with anything, is manners, please, thank you. Please and thank you. It's pretty rare for, to say thank you to someone in their language and not get a smile. People here, thank you. They like being polite. They like you using a language. It's very useful. Okay, come on. Thinking music again. What have we got? Hello, how are you? Please, thank you. Yes, no, but three more. Sorry. Depending on your language, excuse me and sorry may be the same word. It may be different words, but sorry to apologize again, to thank people, to ask people to apologize. Super communication, super wonderful. Super should be used in the first language. So, sorry, understanding how it's used, you're understanding inflections, very useful. Again, excuse me, you're on the train, you're trying to get to the train, whatever else. To be able to say to people who are, who are probably not listening, not paying attention, if they hear excuse me, they, they will... Um, it, it, communication rapport is built up. They may move out of your way. They may help you much more. So I've got sorry and excuse me, whether they're the same or different, good to know in the language. Goodbye. See you later. Sayonara. Matane. Aus Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Au revoir. A plus cactus. For those who don't know or know but don't understand what uh, what I was just saying in some other languages there. I was saying goodbye in actually two different ways. I think I was. You tell me. Um, sort of a formal and a more informal. Of course, yes. Learning the uh, learning goodbye and see ya. Maybe it's easier to learn one. Sure, but to but to again have that difference, to have that use, to to give a bit of a repartee, a bit of a, a different feeling, a different atmosphere, a different intonation in a different circumstances, a different context can be really useful. You've got some people and you can use their language with them if just as goodbye, if nothing else, they feel that, wow, you, you've, you've tried to communicate with me, you've tried to understand and respect who I am. And again, we all like that, and it's very powerful. So let's review. So again, if you're learning English or any language, second language, and that, or you're just going overseas for a week, the first eight words you want to use, you want to learn, practice, use, use with lots of people, make mistakes, have fun, work out the better local alternatives. Um, as I said, English is spoken in many places around the world as a first and second language, and most of those places will have their own style or their own special words for this. And again, if you can lose the local word, you are kicking goals. So let's review. We have, uh, hello, how are you? Please, thank you, yes, no, I'm sorry. Or excuse me, let's give them two different ones. Sorry, excuse me, goodbye. Oh, we got nine. Again. Hello, how are you? Please, thank you. Yes, no. Sorry, excuse me, goodbye.